time now is 6:17. It's time to bring in Chief Meteorologist James Bann. And James, I think it goes without me saying, today's a very important day in Alabama's weather history. We will always look back on this date to April 27, 2011, the generational tornado outbreak in Alabama. And a lot of people, Taylor, remember this day as the Tuscaloosa tornado or the Birmingham tornado. But understand there were 61 other tornadoes in the state. That's just one story. 62 tornadoes. And the death toll that day was 200. And 52, and that is absolutely inexcusable for anybody in the weather enterprise and, quite frankly, for anybody in the public. We have to do better. The warnings that day were simply excellent, and yet all these people died. And I think we learned that day that maybe what we do is not enough. We do physical science, but we have to integrate social science into the warning process because we're asking people to do something. But the human loss of life was incredible this day, but it was affecting so many different counties and so many different parts of the state. And yes, Tuscaloosa and Birmingham were hit, but places like Bowley Springs and Sawyerville and Webster's Chapel and Shoal Creek Valley, a lot of these folks really didn't get a lot of publicity and not faulting the journalists because they simply didn't have the resources to tell all of the story. But it was an absolute humanitarian crisis. And the main thing, I just don't want people to forget those that died that day. These were precious people that died. It would take me at least five minutes for this entire list to scroll by. But the loss of life was tremendous. It affected all demographic groups. We had infants that died. We had senior adults that died. Some people that lived in the city, some people that lived out in the country. It affected different ethnicities. It was just a horrible, horrible tragedy. So let's remember those that died on this date in 2011 and the surviving family members. They hurt just as bad today as they did 11 years ago. But on the positive side, Taylor, you've talked about it. There's our severe weather outlook today. Weather could not be any better. Low humidity, blue sky, sunshine. Before you know it, that long, hot summer is going to be here. We won't have many days like this left. Back to you. All right. Thanks so much, James. And this morning, we are feeling the effects of that cold front that passed through yesterday. Temperatures ranging anywhere from the lower to the upper 40s. So it is a noticeable cool down from yesterday. Anywhere from 10 to 20 degrees colder, you're not going to want Address the same way this morning as you did yesterday. By the afternoon, we're looking at temperatures in the 70s. We get a lot of sunshine, low humidity, this cooler, drier air mass in place. Just a pleasant spring day. Doesn't get much better than this. Get outside and enjoy it if you have the opportunity to. So we're looking at low 70s north, mid to upper 70s south, right on track for where we would expect to be this time of year. And the Birmingham Legion FC playing at Protective Stadium this evening. Uh, that match begins at 7 p.m. 64 degrees at 8 8 o'clock. By 10 p.m., we're looking at a temperature close to 60. So next weather maker is going to be a warming trend. We are in the 70s today, and it looks like this is going to be the last day in the 70s for a little while. I'm forecasting 80s from tomorrow all the way through much of next week. So a warm up on the way and just a very small chance to see any rain over the weekend. We're looking at very small chance Saturday. Sunday, we could have a couple passing showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder at times, but we're not looking at a washout, and this is not going to be a threat for severe weather in central Alabama. So we are looking at uh, pretty quiet weather here over the next 10 days. Today we're in the 70s with sunshine, a perfect spring day. Tomorrow's beautiful as well. Friday we add just a couple clouds. Same story on Saturday. Sunday's when we bring back a small rain chance and we are going to look at the possibility for a couple scattered showers here and there Sunday through the first half of next week.